What's up, y'all? Welcome back to Fish the Moment. Today, you're joining me in the middle of an empty parking lot, nowhere near the lake. And the reason for that is because I'm gonna be explaining how side imaging works in this video. I'm actually going to be laying out objects in the middle of this parking lot, showing you how this fish finder picks up those different objects to the side of your boat and how it displays it on the screen. And I'll also talk about how you can actually make sure you hit those objects with a cast after you see them on your side imaging, where they are in relation to the boat, all kinds of stuff. I get a lot of questions about this and I finally want to put this one to bed. And hopefully by the end of this, you guys are gonna know exactly what your side imaging image is reading and what it's showing you and how to find a lot more fish with it. So let's get into it. Okay, so first up, let's talk about the transducer. And the transducer for my fish finder is connected at the back of my boat here on the outside of my boat. And all side imaging transducers need to be mounted outside the boat. And this transducer connects to the graph right there up on my steering wheel. And so all the images that are showing up on your fish finder for side imaging originate from this transducer right here. So first up, let's explain what the side imaging image is actually showing you. And there's a lot of misconceptions about this. So if we pull up a side imaging image here, you can see that right in the center of the screen, there's a really bright beam. And that's actually where the transducer of the boat is. And so the image actually originates at the top of the screen and it starts right where that beam is. And that's originating right here off your transducer. And then to create the image, this transducer first pings straight down to the bottom of the lake, or in this case, the floor of the parking lot, and it goes straight down. So right now we're about a foot and a half off of the actual pavement here. And so right now my graph would read one and a half feet of water right here, one and a half feet. And so if we take a ruler, first the image comes here and it goes one and a half feet down to the bottom of the lake. And the foot and a half between my transducer and the bottom of the ground, which is represented by my ruler here, is actually this space on the side scan image. It's the space between that bright beam that's in the center, which again is where the transducer is, and then the bottom of the lake or the ground. And that's where you kind of start seeing the color come in. And so you can see there's actually a black space right here. And that black space is the area between the transducer and the ground or the bottom of the lake, which is represented by the ruler. And so if you can imagine our boat out in the middle of the lake, if we're not in a foot and a half of water, let's say we're in 20 feet of water, well, in your side imaging image, everything between that beam and where the actual bottom starts, where the color starts, that's gonna be the water column between the transducer and the bottom of the lake. And so again, right now we're dealing with a foot and a half of water in this case, but again, this could be 20 feet, 40 feet, 50 feet, 60 feet. Okay, so I don't wanna beat a dead horse here, but I do wanna make sure that this is crystal clear. And so I wanna use one other visualization to explain this to make sure everyone's on the same page. And so here's an illustration I made that shows a boat on top of some water, and you can see that there is a red bar that goes from the bottom of the boat to the bottom of the lake. This space right here where this red bar is, is the exact same thing as the black space in this side imaging image right here. And just to be, again, super clear, the bright beam in the center of this image right here, that is where the transducer of the boat is or was because this is actually a past recording. I'll explain that here in a second. But basically the transducer is right here. And then where the color starts on the right and left side, that's the bottom of the lake. And so the bottom of the lake in the illustration I made is here. The bottom of the lake in the side imaging image is here. The transducer of the boat in the side imaging image is here. The transducer of the boat in a real life illustration is here. And the black space between the transducer and the bottom of the lake and the side imaging image is the exact same thing as the space between the bottom of the transducer and the bottom of the lake represented by the red bar in this image. And you'll notice that there's black space on both the right and the left side of the side imaging transducer. And that can be confusing to a lot of people. And basically what happens is that the side imaging transducer captures this kind of same image on both sides. It kind of takes half of the image, puts it on the right, half the image puts it on the left. A little bit confusing, but basically what this space here is, this black space, is actually what makes up your down imaging image in the other view on your fish finder. And so to put this another way, we can actually pull up a down imaging view, and here's where the boat would be in a down imaging image. Transducer is right here, the bottom of the lake is here, and the black space here between the transducer and the bottom of the lake, 
that is the exact same thing as the black space here in the side imaging image where you have the transducer and you have the bottom of the lake that black space and again there's like a good duplicated black space one on the right one on the left and the down imaging trans or the down imaging image is created by basically stapling both of those images kind of together in a way a little bit confusing i don't want to get into the technicalities of that there are other videos that might be able to explain that better than i can but just know that this black space in this image and the black space in the side imaging image are the exact same thing. And you can actually see fish just like you would on down imaging in your side imaging image by looking in this black space. So I know that was a long winded explanation of that, but I wanted to make sure that was super clear because it can be very confusing. And I think that it's very helpful to know going forward. Okay, so now that we know that black space on the screen is actually the water between the transducer and the bottom of the lake, we now have to know what the colored sections are on the right and left side, which is actually what the side imaging is meant to capture. And basically what a side imaging transducer does is it goes straight down from the transducer to the bottom of the lake, then it will ping right and left. And so if we take this ruler, what it'll actually do is it will go straight down to the bottom of the lake then it's going to shoot to the right and to the left a certain distance. I'm going out with my ruler, hopefully this is making sense. Let's say right here, we had 23 feet. So it's going to go 23 feet to the right and it's going to go 23 feet to the left of the boat. And basically what that does is it's going to create an image that shows you everything that's along the bottom to the right of your boat and to the left of your boat on both sides using this image. Okay, so let's say then that we have a brush pile, which I'm representing with this laundry basket here, 14 feet away from the boat. 14 feet away from the boat, and I'm using that ruler here to tell me that, 14 feet away from the back of my boat, we see a brush pile right here. Again, the laundry basket. And this is on the bottom of the lake. That will show up on our side imaging like this. This is basically what the image will look like. This is just a brush pile I've graphed over before. And right now, this brush pile is 14 feet away. Our ruler length right now is 23 feet. And remember the distance between the transducer and the bottom of the boat, that's a foot and a half. And so really, the total distance, our total range right now is 25 feet. That's a foot and a half from the bottom of the transducer down to the ground and then 23 and a half feet this direction out to the right side of my boat for a total range of 25 feet. Again, this is really important to remember, you actually don't have a full 25 foot range when you are scanning with your side scan. It's not like you're going 25 feet to the right of your boat, 25 feet to the left. You're actually going a certain number of feet straight down, then a certain number of feet over. So for example, in this image, you can see that I'm like 20 feet of water. And 20 feet of my image is being taken up by this black space, which is the area between the bottom of my transducer to the bottom of the lake. Then I have, let's say, an 80 foot range set. That means I'm showing 60 feet to the right of my boat, 60 feet to the left of my boat. So I'm really only covering 60 feet on both sides in that case. In this case, I'm only covering 23 feet, even though my range is 25 feet. Hopefully that makes sense. Super important when you're trying to figure out how much distance you're covering with your side imaging. And so one thing that people get confused about all the time with side imaging is where the objects they're showing up on their screen are in relation to their boat. And so in this case, we have this laundry basket, the brush pile, which is 14 feet away from my boat and it's just been captured by the side imaging transducer. And so it'll show up in the very top right of your screen. Then as you continue to drive forward, that image is gonna continue to collect data. So it'll collect data here in this kind of swash right here. It'll then collect data from here. It'll collect data from here and it will build your image and it'll basically scan all out on the side of my truck here, 25 feet to the side of my boat and my truck all the way here. So all this area, basically where you see these kind of yellow lines, all of that's going to get captured by the side imaging transducer. And the image is just gonna keep kind of moving and moving and moving. It's like a kind of a historical record. And so if I actually move my truck here, let me do that real quick. Okay, so I just moved the boat and the truck had about 20 feet. And if we were on the lake, that would mean that my transducer scanned from where the tape measure was right here, all the way ahead 20 feet 
to where the transducer is now and it also is scanning 23 and a half feet to the right of my boat. So now we've scanned basically a 20 by 23 foot square in this section, and that's what's gonna show up on the side imaging on the fish finder. And so the image now is going to show that my boat is over there, and we're actually gonna see a new image at the top of the screen that basically is being scanned from the transducer here, straight down, all the way across. This is at the top of the screen right now, and my brush pile here is gonna be kind of saved in like the memory of the side scan, and it's just going to be pushed down, 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 down the screen. It's now gonna show up on the screen right here. And so we have our basket here now, and our boat is over there. And so if you kind of think about this image now, you can see this is where the brush pile is in the side scan image. This is where the brush pile, brush pile is right here in real life. My boat's all the way over here. And so if you're gonna wanna to try to, let's say, hit this brush pile with a cast after you've driven over it, well, you've just driven 20 feet past this brush pile. You know that it's on the screen right here, and you know your boat is now over there. All you'd have to do to hit that spot is basically stop your boat right there, spin around, if I jump up my boat, Okay, so now I wanna make a cast on that brush pile, and I know that brush pile is 14 feet to the right of my boat, and I also know that it's behind my boat. And so, if you just wanna take kind of a random guess, you can kind of cast diagonally off the back of your boat or off the front of your boat, right at that brush pile and try to hit it. Okay, now this is really important. The number one point of confusion I find with people who are trying to interpret side imaging is they think they can tell how far away that brush pile is from their boat just by looking at the side imaging image. But you cannot do that, it does not work. You can't say that from this point where the transducer is now to that brush pile is let's say 30 feet. Or even from the top of the screen to where the brush pile is is 30 feet. You can't tell distance kind of vertically on your side imaging image. The reason for that is because you travel over different distances at different speeds all the time when you're graphing. Let me explain. So to take it back to this example here in the parking lot, I just moved my truck ahead 20 feet. And let's say I was moving at three miles an hour for three seconds to do that. So I moved 20 feet going three miles an hour in three seconds. And that produced the images on the screen now. Well, let's say that instead of going three miles an hour, I went 15 miles an hour. Well, in three seconds, I'm gonna cover a lot more ground going 15 miles an hour than I will going three miles an hour. And that's going to mean that my truck's gonna be way further that way. And this brush pile is still going to be in the same spot on the screen. The image is gonna look pretty much the same. Might be a little bit different, a little bit distorted, a little more shrunk. But I can't then say that this brush pile is 20 feet behind my boat because I moved at a completely different speed. And so that's something that confuses a lot of guys and it is not super intuitive, but the best way to get around that is to either drop a marker buoy, once you see this image going across, just dropping it there, or by actually marking it on your GPS. And I have a video here that explains exactly how to do that. And so check out this video, it'll explain how to actually mark stuff on your fish finder scroll over to it, drop a waypoint, and then turn around and cast on it. And so, again, don't think that you can tell the distance between your boat just by looking at the image. You have to use your waypoints, use a marker buoy to determine that. Super important, super misunderstood. And one thing that I didn't explain, but hopefully you guys understand, is that the image from your side imaging unit is going to produce equal images on the right side of your boat and on the left side of your boat. And so if you look over here, I put a black crate down that I'm gonna say is, let's say, a rock pile. And in this case, our side imaging is showing a rock pile to the left of the boat and then a brush pile over here to the right of the boat. And basically the image, let's say the range is 25 feet again, is going to be a foot and a half straight down from the transducer to the bottom of the lake or the parking lot, then 23 and a half feet to the left, 23 and a half feet to the right, that's where you're going to be able to get your full image. And so I know this can be very confusing, guys, and it's definitely not something to be ashamed about if you have to watch this video a couple times. Also, if you want to leave some comments, let me know. And also book a one-on-one -on -one video lesson with me. I can do a Google Hangout with you and talk through all of this and explain it if you need some extra instruction. This is, again, took me years to figure all this stuff out, and it is very complicated, so no shame there. Okay, so at this point in the video, I had planned to talk about what bass or fish look like on side imaging. But this video is already 15 minutes long and it's a lot of information to process all at once. And so I'm gonna split that off into a separate video and I'm sure I didn't cover everything 
absolutely perfectly. There may have been a few things that may have not been explained as well as they could have been. And so I'm going to try to address that in the next video as well based on your comments. So feel free to leave a comment down below letting me know what you thought of the video, what questions you had, and I will address those in the next part of this video. And also just want to remind everyone that I am doing a Fish the Moment Bass Camp with a sonar class component on Sam Rayburn Lake in Texas this January. And all the information is on my website, fishmoment.com. I'll be doing a four-hour classroom session where I'll talk about fish finders, sonar, explain how it all works, how to use it to find fish in the classroom. I'll also be going out in the boat with 10 anglers and setting up their fish finder in their boat with them, explaining how it works on the lake, showing you what fish look like on your fish finder, stuff like that. So if that's something you're interested in, go to fishmoment.com, go to the Bass Camp tab, and then you'll be able to find the fishing sonar class. And so check that out on my website and again, leave a comment with your questions so I can address them in my upcoming video. Okay guys, so I know that was a lot of information to take in in one video, but hopefully it was helpful in explaining how to interpret the side imaging image on your fish finder. I know there's not been very many good videos made about this, and it's a huge point of confusion in the fishing community at large. And so if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful, please share it out with friends, share it out with anyone you know. Hopefully we can get everyone informed about how to actually use these fish finders we spend thousands and thousands of dollars on. So again, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more fishing content on electronics, on the water stuff, how to actually go and find fish on the lake with these units, subscribe to Fish the Moment, and also check out my website, fishthemoment.com, for a lot of other great information about fishing in general. So thanks again for checking out this video, and I'll see you all in the next one.